how George Russell may not race in 2021 even with a contract. There's been a few rumours flying around lately that could suggest that George Russell may not be racing in 2021 despite having signed for the Williams team. A lot of people are shrugging these suggestions off because of the fact he's signed. But just because you're signed to a Formula 1 team does not mean you're entirely safe. The contracts can be bought out and so on. Don't worry, I won't get all legal on you. Let's take a look at the driver market right now and how Alonso returning, Vettel to Aston Martin, Sainz to Ferrari and Danny Rick to McLaren isn't the end to the silly season. Let's begin with Williams. And for the people watching saying the title is absolute rubbish, hear me out. George Russell and Nicholas Latifi have both been publicly confirmed by Williams for 2021. However, there is some paddock chatter that it may not be done and dusted. Perez has been thrown into the mix as a potential to replace Russell. And remember that Sergio himself was confirmed to Aston or Racing Point, however you want to see them. And look how that turned out. No drive. Why would they replace George? I hear you ask. Well, quite simply, Williams need money. Perez has it coming out of his ears, he has sponsors and no drive currently. Latifi is safe because he's in a similar position to the Mexican, which leaves George vulnerable to a last minute substitution, which quite frankly would be an absolute travesty. Moving on to Renault now, there's a little story coming out that may suggest that Esteban Ocon could be replaced by Gasly in the near future, maybe as soon as 2022. The alleged beef between Gasly and Ocon may start to boil over here. Now we turn our attentions to Alfa Romeo, which is probably the most exciting prospect for me moving to next year, and not because they'll necessarily be title challengers, I've pretty much accepted the fact they won't, but Kimi Raikkonen and Mick Schumacher as a lineup. hold on, let me just breathe this in for a second, Raikkonen and Schumacher in a team, oh baby. But wait, if Alpha for some reason decided to keep Giovinazzi alongside Raikkonen, to be fair to Antonio, he has shown glimpses of potential, then this will make the fight for the Haas seat even more competitive. Before we continue, I see you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you're an F1 fan stumbling across this channel, I promise you, you will not regret clicking subscribe. Us F1 fans need to be united in being subscribed to the WTF1 channel, of course. Right, next team, Haas. Will they finally replace Grosjean or Magnussen? Or both? They need to change something, surely. They've been teammates now since 2017 and Haas have without a doubt gone backwards since their incredible arrival on the scene. Callum Eilert was meant to test a Haas in free practice one at the Nürburgring, but unfortunately it was cancelled due to rain. Gunter Steiner has already come out and said there are lots of drivers in with a shout of a drive, including one Nikita Mazepin, as there's talk of his dad taking a share of the team. A dad? Buying an F1 team so that a son can race? Where have I heard that before? And don't forget what I mentioned in the last segment. If Alfa Romeo keep Antonio, don't be surprised to see a Schumacher Mazepin lineup here at Haas. Next up, and I know it's been spoken about a lot, but that doesn't mean we can ignore it the Red Bull and Alfa Tauri situation. It pretty much comes down to what they do with Albon. If they get rid of Albon, it then poses the question whether they go for a driver outside their Red Bull programme, such as Perez or Hülkenberg, or do the embarrassing switch once again promoting Gasly to the top team. Either way, Kvyat looks less likely to keep his seat, with Sonoda getting the Alfa Tauri drive despite Honda leaving at the end of 2021. Last and by no means least, we have Mercedes and Hamilton, who still hasn't signed a contract for 2021. It seems likely he'll stay, but after hearing him share a song of his on Instagram the other day that said, Then I hit the throttle in a different model, followed by Lewis saying, I shouldn't have played you that. Well, food for thought at least. I'm stirring the rumour pot and I love it. There you have it. Lots of rumours going around for who will be on the grid in 2021. Which do you think is most likely to come true? Have we missed any rumours you'd have included in this video? Let us know in the comments section below.